During times of economic uncertainty, investing in high quality dividend paying stocks is usually one of the best investments anyone can make. But I must admit that does come with a little bit of legwork because in order to find these individual high quality dividend paying stocks, you're gonna have to do a bunch of research and you will go through dozens of companies before you find a solid handful that work for you. And that's because we all know in the stock market there are thousands of stocks to pick from and just because a few of them work for me, doesn't mean they're gonna work for you and vice versa, right? That is why it is very important to do your own research and make sure that the stocks you're buying fit well within your portfolio. But the biggest hurdle here when it comes to all of this is time. I understand that sometimes balancing your work and personal life is a bit of a magic trick on its own and to add the responsibility of consistently doing research on individual stocks and keeping up with the overall market things can get a little bit overwhelming to say the least. So if you don't wanna jump through all the hoops and hurdles of researching individual stocks and you just wanna invest your money in the market and watch it grow as stress-free as possible, this video is for you. Come with me if you want to live. So without further ado, let's get into it. What's up guys, Johan Lorenzo here, back at you with another one. Today we're gonna to talk about five dividend paying ETFs that will make you a millionaire regardless of how much you know about investing. Simply just buy shares of these ETFs, reinvest the dividends, and you'll be well on your way to a seven figure portfolio by the time you retire. But before we get into it, if you guys enjoy this type of content, please smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. It really does help support the channel and I greatly appreciate it. And just in case you're a new investor, ETF stands for Exchange Traded Fund. This is basically a basket where multiple stocks are held within. And every time you purchase a share of an ETF, your money will be spread across all of the companies that are held within that ETF. An ETF will track a specific index or sector. And the best part about it is, unlike purchasing shares of an index, an ETF can be bought and sold multiple times within a single day, unlike an index fund, which only has one window per day. The first ETF on the list here is the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF, ticker symbol VTI. Thanks to the horrendous market conditions we're currently facing, you now have the opportunity to purchase shares of VTI at the bottom of their 52 week low. VTI seeks to track the overall US market. This includes a broad lineup of large, mid and small cap companies, which represent approximately 100% of the investable US stock market. There are currently 4,056 stocks within VTI. This ETF is the bread and butter for any new investor that is learning how to invest in the market and is probably one of the safest ETFs to invest in, in my opinion. VTI is currently going for $183.27 and right now they have a dividend yield of 1.61%. The great thing about this ETF is that you have an expense ratio of 0.03%, guys. Meaning, if you have $10,000 invested into VTI, you only pay a $3 fee every year for that. Compare that to some of the mutual funds where people pay $150 per year for every $10,000 invested, and it's a world of a difference. And usually, mutual fund advisors can't even keep up with the overall market. So it's a win-win scenario here with VTI. VTI's top 10 holdings right now include big name companies such as Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Tesla, and Google. These top 10 companies make up over 20% of their asset allocation. So when you're investing in VTI, over 20% of your money will be held in these top 10 holdings and the rest will be spread across their other 4,000 and something companies. The second ETF on this list is one of my personal favorites and that is the Charles Schwab US Dividend Equity ETF, ticker symbol, SCHD. SCHD seeks to track the performance of the Dow Jones US 100 index. This ETF holds a bunch of blue chip companies that have a strong history of paying out consistent dividends. Right now, SCHD is also at the bottom of their 52 week low and you can purchase their shares for around $67.69. Their dividend yield is 3.58% and they also have a very low net expense ratio of 0.06%. Meaning if you have $10,000 invested into SCHD, you will only pay a $6 fee every year. Their top 10 holdings consist of companies such as Merck & Co, IBM, Pepsi, Pfizer, Coca-Cola, and a few others. These top 10 holdings make up over 39% of their asset allocation. The third ETF on the list here is the Vanguard Real Estate ETF, ticker symbol VNQ. VNQ invests in the stocks of companies operating across real estate sectors. It seeks to track the performance of the MSCI US Investable Market Real Estate 2550 Index, 
Wow, try saying that three times in a row. This index basically measures the performance of publicly traded equity REITs and other real estate related investments. This is a great way to have your money diversified in real estate via the stock market. VNQ is also at the bottom of the 52 week low guys and they currently have a dividend yield of 3.34%. They also have a low expense ratio of 0.12%. So for every $10,000 you have invested in VNQ, you'll only pay about 12 bucks a year. Their top 10 holdings include Realty Income, which is personally my favorite REIT out there in the entire market, American Tower Corp, Public Storage, Crown Castle, and a few others. The fourth ETF we're talking about here today is the iShares Core High Dividend ETF, ticker symbol HDV. This ETF seeks to track the Morningstar Dividend Yield Focus Index, Focusing on companies that have an economic moat, this helps the fund weather the storm in the markets like the market conditions we're seeing today. HDV targets about 75 stocks by dividend yield. Focusing on companies that pay a higher dividend yield, their top 10 holdings include ExxonMobil, Chevron, Avi, Merck Co, Cisco, and a few others. These top 10 holdings make up about 53% of their overall asset allocation for this ETF. HDV is also at their 52 week low guys. And at the moment you can buy shares of this ETF for about $94 and 73 cents. They currently have a dividend yield of 3.23% and an expense ratio of 0.08%. Once again, for every $10,000 invested in HDV, you only have to pay $8 per year. And last but not least, coming in at number five, this ETF has gained a lot of popularity over the last couple of years. And it's definitely got something to do with its very, and I mean, very generous dividend yield. We're talking about the JP Morgan Equity Premium Income ETF, also known as JEPI, ticker symbol JEPI. Now, JEPI is an actively managed ETF that seeks to deliver monthly passive dividend income. You heard that right, monthly. JEPI uses investing in option strategies in order to pay their investors on a monthly basis. The ETF sells index options against their shares and they use the premiums collected to generate monthly income. Sounds pretty familiar, right? That's exactly what I do on my own. But if you find that to be a little difficult for you and you still can't come to grips with options trading, then JEPI might be one to consider. At the moment, shares of JEPI are currently going for $52.33. And just like all the other ETFs we've looked at today, guys, they're at the bottom of their 52 week low. Their current dividend yield is a juicy, and I mean juicy, 10.63%, wow. Once again, remember this ETF sells covered calls and that's one of the reasons they have this juicy dividend. Usually a high dividend yield such as this one can look a little bit like a dividend trap, but Jeppy, I think it's safe to say you're in good hands. Their expense ratio is the highest amongst the other ETFs that we've covered today and it's coming in at a 0.35%. And remember guys, that's also because this is an actively managed ETF. And believe it or not, in regard to an expense ratio, Jeppy is still super cheap. For every $10,000 invested, you'll pay $35 a year. Compared to mutual funds, they're a way better deal. Their top 10 holdings include United Health Group, Bristol Myers, Pepsi, Hershey Company, Avi, and a few others. Their top 10 holdings make up over 28% of their asset allocation. Guys, this is a great investment approach if you just wanna have a simple set it and forget it type of portfolio. You'll still receive your dividends and you'll still be invested in the stock market with absolutely little to no effort at all. And speaking about dividends, if you wanna see how much dividend income I earned last month for my six figure dividend portfolio, then click on this video right here. I wanna thank you all for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.